Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today you join me at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate. Of course you do for a quite interesting video, quite a fun video. We've done a lot about golf balls in the last few weeks and months, but we're not gonna finish there because there are so many different types of golf balls. You've got the amazing four piece golf balls that are worth 40, 50 pounds a dozen, and you've got the budget ones, but you've actually got range balls. And that's what we're gonna to compare today. I've got this wonderful yellow range ball, this one piece, 80% compression range ball, and I'm gonna put it up against the Callaway Chrome Soft X. Now I've reviewed the Callaway Chrome Soft brand in a lot of detail. Check it out if you haven't seen it already, but I'm gonna compare these two out on the course, out on the Kingfisher course at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate. And before I hit some balls with these two wonderful little things here, there's gonna be a big difference in terms of distance. There's also a big difference in terms of design. You can literally see the line of this range ball of where it's actually been put together. It's not durable. It doesn't feel great, but it does the job when you're practicing. Now comparing it to the Callaway Chrome Soft, it's smoother, it feels great, it's got a lot, a lot more of a pleasing design and it will perform a lot better. I've already put these against each other for data and it was pretty much bang on for the 80% compression. The driver and six iron, my driver I was getting about 310 yards with the Callaway Chrome Soft this one here and with the range ball I was getting about 20% less so it was going about 260 270 or so and if I didn't hit it out the center of the club face the results diminished considerably it was not a forgiving golf ball at all the Callaway Chrome Soft definitely is the six iron was also in that category my six iron with the Callaway Chrome Soft was going about 200 yards and the the range ball here was going about 170 180 and again with that forgiveness factor well there wasn't really any with the range ball and it didn't feel great now enough of me talking let's jump out on the course now let's play let's play a good nine holes and just see how i get on with these two golf balls i'm gonna hit the exact same club on every tee shot so we can see the difference here i think the short game part is going to be the most fun but come join me and let's see if i can break par with both golf balls It didn't take long to uh, get our first discrepancy in terms of the differences. The little range ball, I had, a good, I had both really good shots, but one was a little bit left, and it is just there, if you could see it. And then with the Chrome Soft, it's um, just over there, because um, I'm absolutely massive. So it's about 20 yards already, but I will say the range ball didn't really feel that bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> well, it's definitely um, it's definitely short, but it's about 80 yards left. I'm kind of scared about this one too, so I'm going to hit a slightly less club too. At 165, I'm going to hit a 99 into wind, so I don't think it's going to get anywhere close. Ah, yep, great shot. Just wind held it up a little bit. The uh, Callaway ball is about 15 foot for birdie. Played the hole spot on. The range ball, I don't think it's the range ball's fault so far, but it's an absolute stinker. The lie is disgusting. The shot's not great. And I know with the range ball, it's gonna get, uh, it's not gonna get any spin anyway, but it's not gonna be the nicest shot. This is where you don't want a range ball here. You want another ball to get some sort of response. So it's gonna feel like I'm hitting a, a juice carton or something. All right, that's a good shot but goodbye, goodbye. I'm not expecting that much difference with a um, the premium ball, maybe a little bit. That was a good shot, not really much I could do about that. Ah well. So I don't actually think I've ever actually putted with a range ball, probably because you're not supposed to, but it can't, it can't feel great, can it? Let's, let's lag this up for a bogey, hopefully. Not bad, I felt like getting a piece of wood. Bit of work to do, but that was actually quite a good part. That's a nice roll to it. Got a good look at Birdie with the Callaway ball. You can see, something that you probably won't see with a range ball is that it went span back just a little bit. Now, I'm happy with the par, but I'm going to the mindset of make everything. Let's see if I can get this at least past the hole. Got it past the hole. Never had a chance. 
not the best part there for me. Let's finish this up. There we go. Should, very should be straightforward par. Not really happy with the putting there. Okay, so par five, about 460 from the yellows. I am chopping changing between tees today just for ease of use. You may have seen this par five in some previous videos and you are aware. Oh, it's not a driver, but I'm too fickle and we've got a hit driver. So I'm gonna hit it straight over those trees. It's not an easy shot by any means, but there is some space. So let's set a bomb, make eagle with one of these balls. Not when you lose it mid-air. No, I know that's right down the middle because I absolutely smashed that, but I lost it mid-air, <laughs> which is really annoying. And the range ball certainly has some uh, work to do if it wants to catch up with that one, but no, no bias involved. Same swing, same result. That was good. That was really good. A little bit high in the face, so it's a bit of a dead ball, but that didn't move at all. So that was actually a better line than the first one. Ooh, these results will be very interesting there. Let's go find out. Right, so pretty similar results again. You can see that they're actually on the very similar lines and the range was about 20 yards behind, just in front of me. And then Calvary Kremsoft, just there. Both good shots. The range ball went about 270 with the chrome stuff going about 300 more or less. So I've got about 180 now. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit a six. I think six should be the right club. Let's have a go. Just hanging out right a little bit, but it was a good shot. Yeah, looked okay. Yeah, now here was where the actual difference is. I've got 170, 165 for this one. So it's really in between carbs. I'm gonna try and muscle a six iron there because I'm happy to be short. Oh, that's a good shot. It's just left slightly. No, I look good. I look good. You can see there, I used a six iron for one and a nine iron for the other. That's quite a considerable difference, isn't it? When you're thinking about it. For a par five, that's scorable. I think I should have an eagle putt for both, but it is very different now. This is really showing the difference between premium golf balls and one-piece golf balls. I knew there'd be a big difference, but from a driver six iron and driver nine iron, that's huge. That really is huge. So I actually played some uh, some decent golf there and got two birdies. Unfortunately, I missed the eagle putt, but I had to play a very difficult shot with the range ball because there was not going to be any reception. So I had to literally land it in the rough and hope it kills it, which it did. Now I've got 160 to the middle, which is more or less a stock smooth nine iron. I'm going to hit a nine iron for both balls and just see the difference here. Cause I think this will be really interesting. Those mid to short irons, how big is the difference going to be? Good shot. Just short, I think. Oh, that was bad. Underwhelming shots, to be honest. But the interesting thing here is I hit the range ball very well. That's in the front of the green. I hit the Callaway really, really badly. Don't know if I actually found a groove on the club face, but they're the exact same distance. So if I had hit the Callaway perfectly, it would have been pin high. Nope. That has gone absolutely miles. Now, unfortunately, I was rushed along for the last hole and the sun is now setting. It's very picturesque, but that means this is the last hole of the day for this range ball and premium ball comparison challenge. I hit some really nice shots. I've been doing another video in tandem with this one, but I hit some really good shots down here. And actually, the range ball, the last hurrah, very good shot. Two iron that went about 270. Absolute cannon. Didn't get with the Callaway, which is just five or 10 yards ahead of it. 
but now it's the money maker shot, the final shot of the day, 122 to the middle, 108 to the front by my short scope watch. It's downhill, gonna play a little bit less. It's just a very easy sand wedge. Now, my ball striking has started to let me down on these little short approach shots, hopefully. Final shot of the day for the range ball, if I hole it. Oh, it's good. It's just a little left. Now it's so dark, I can't see if that's span, but I'm using a very new Ping Glide Forge Pro wedge, and that should spin quite a bit. It'll be interesting to see the ball mark on that one. Now I'm gonna change clubs for this shot, just because I'm a little bit closer, and it's not gonna play 100, it's gonna play about 90 yards. Hit my Callaway, trusty 60 degree wedge. Tap in for birdie, happy days. Oh, it's good, it's just hanging out right. How can I hit such a big fade? Oh my God, it's awful. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Hit such a big fade with a little lob wedge. It's just about 30 foot or so, but ugh. Range ball, one on that one. That's so slow, go. Not the best, God. As soon as the sun goes down, I can feel that wind chill. Should be an easy enough tapping par. There we go. Easy par. It's a good roll. Wow, I died. That was a weird roll at the end. Really weird roll. Uh, it's still, it's still a par. Right guys, that is it for this video, comparing the range ball to the Callaway Chrome Soft X. A very fun video for me, or by only four holes, but you could see one under with the Callaway Chrome Soft X and the range ball was one over, wasn't it? Yes, one over. Not too bad, but there are some clear differences and I think from this video, you should be able to tell why you're not seeing a lot of people using range balls out on the course. They're not good. <laughs> They're really not good, guys. You've got budget balls, but the difference between a budget ball, let's say a Strix and Soft feel, to a range ball is very, very significant. And that's why you're not seeing anyone with those little one piece 80% compression balls that if you're struggling for distance they're gonna mess you up a little bit and they kind of go all over the place that last part I had it stopped so quickly I don't think that was down to the greens the Callaway Chrome Soft brand Chrome Soft X XLS and Chrome Soft is a great brand check out our previous videos but there's a reason why this is one of the most popular balls in the golf market it's because it's got some very good results. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever used range balls for actual play on the course. I know it's very fun hitting some one-piece golf balls on the range, but there is a big difference. Should we be using three-piece golf balls on the range? I know some ranges offer that, but some don't. It's a very interesting test. If you guys are new to the Golf Minute YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos. From comparisons, challenges, reviews, you name it, we've got it to keep you guys entertained for the rest of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you.